Proverbs chapter 19, verse 23. The fear of the Lord leads to life, then one rests content, untouched by trouble. I've had friends of mine over time who've said to me, you know what, there are just nights I can't sleep. There's nights when I put my head on the pillow and my conscience is just over and over and over burning because of the choices that I make. I don't want to do the things I do. I don't want to act the way that I'm acting. I don't want to say the things I'm saying. I didn't want to do the deal that I did, but I did it to stay alive or to provide for my family or any of those other things. And at the end of the day, they were resting and believing in themselves instead of resting and believing in the one who gives us what we talked about yesterday, unfailing love. Where is it in your life that you are looking at yourself and to yourself only and what you've done in the process has put God over here and yourself over here? Where is the area that you haven't given truly to God? Because this week, if we set the boundaries up that God intends for us, we will see that instead of resting in God's protection, we aren't even allowing God in to help to protect us. And when we do that, we miss out on that unfailing love that God talked about. Listen to this verse once again. The fear of the Lord leads to life, then one rests content, untouched by trouble. If your goal is to be content, then you need to give those areas to God. If your goal is to be able to sleep at night and to have peace, maybe you didn't make the decision that other people would make and hurt people that other people would hurt. But in the end, you chose to be content. And when we get there, we know that we can rest with the assurance that God is in it. My prayer is that you rest with that tonight. Would you read chapter 19 again of Proverbs as we'll continue tomorrow?